So, it's Tuesday. It's a regularly scheduled video day. And I decided to do something I haven't done in a bit and do a deck review. So today we're going to be reviewing the Everyday Tarot deck. This is from Brigitte. I think is how you say her name. or Brigitte or Brigitte um, of Biddy Tarot. And she, I also had the book, the hardcover book that she wrote at the same time this came out. Um, I've already reviewed that. Now it's time for the deck. So I'm going to start, as always, with the box. This is a cute little box. This is a mini deck, so the deck is only this big. That's all the size of the deck. Uh, the box is cute, but the one thing I felt really sucked was this plastic flap. It was very difficult to get open, especially with fake nails. Um, to the point that I won't put the cards back in the box. I do like the magnetic flap. I do like that you can see the deck inside. And I do like how the book is stored by its back cover in this little piece here. But all in all, the box fails. I'm sorry, it fails. The booklet literally only covers a single page for each card of upright and reversed. So like the full new opportunities and beginnings are available to you. Be open-minded and curious, ready to explore and discover new things. Play, have fun, and be spontaneous. Reversed, you have conceived of a new project but aren't ready to birth it just yet. You are worried about the risks and fear the unknown. Every card has meanings like that. I would recommend if you get this deck and you really don't know anything about tarot to get the Everyday Tarot book as well or to get another tarot book that you um, are drawn to. Don't rely on this book for things like layouts and how to draw us because it's just not there. This is one of the smallest books I've ever gotten with a deck. Nothing terrible. I mean, it's not going to make me not want to get the deck, especially because I don't really read it. Now, when you get to the inside, you do get some little help cards. Uh, same backs as the tarot cards. One has quick tarot spreads, a daily one card check-in, and two questions to ask. And then three card spreads with different options for what the three cards could mean. It then also gives you seven steps to an accurate and insightful tarot reading, such as create a sacred space, ask a question, choose a spread, shuffle and lay out the cards, interpret the reading, answer your question, and reflect and take action. That does make up a little bit for what's missing in the book, but not many people pay attention to the extra cards, so make of that as you will. Now, as far as the deck itself... I did have to unstick it, but that is an issue with gilded decks anyway. And this is gilded all around the edges is gold. Um, the gilding is not sharp. And I haven't really seen it peeling off or coming off from shuffling. Although I have not ever riffle shuffled this. Um, I won't riffle shuffle my um, gilded decks at all, period. So I can't tell you how it would hold up to that. Uh, but what I can say is that mine has held up quite well. I've had it for almost two months now with no problem. The cards themselves are quite beautiful. They are simple purple and gold colors. Um, but it's still, it's stunning. And it helps to alleviate the feeling of needing to interpret colors and look for little hidden things because they're just not there. It's just the picture and that's it. Um, I use this deck whenever I want straightforward answers without really having to dig for them. This deck is good for just keywords popping into your mind and that's it. You're not hunting all around for little hints. You can just look at the picture and say, oh, it's the Ten of Wands. He's burdened and depressed. These probably aren't his burdens because he's carrying them so openly. Or something like that. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's just what came to mind. The Knight of Swords. Wow, look, he's running into battle. He doesn't even look like he's fully armored. So it's very easy to... Just interpret these cards intuitively and just, you know, do what you need to do. Even though the full card is missing his feather, there's no denying this is the typical full card. You know, it's especially for somebody who knows their tarot, this is going to be a very easy deck to read with. Even if you don't know your tarot and you're new, this is going to be a very easy deck to learn with. Um, this is good either way, no matter how you do it, no matter what your, what your level of tarot knowledge is, no matter what your level of dedication to tarot is, you're going to be more than able to use this deck, learn it, master it, and uncover the secrets of tarot without any issue. Um, I do like the eight of wands, the little birds that were added 
It's not just the wands flying, you know. All in all, I love this deck. I'm very happy I got it. It's very cheap. It's only 10 bucks on Amazon. I will have a link in the description box where you can get your own. I do not make anything off of those links. It's just for your convenience. You don't have to shop at Amazon if you don't want to. It's just where I was able to find it. Um, wherever you can find it, by, by any means, get what you're comfortable with. These cards are very easy to shuffle. As you can see, you know, easy peasy. I do find that these cards reverse themselves quite easily. And I'm still not sure how. I love this King of Swords. Just all in all, this is a deck I would buy again. This is a deck I turn to quite frequently. Um, even as my collection is growing and I do have more decks I could turn to. This is one I go back to all the time. Much like my Mystic Mondays deck. Which I'll probably be reviewing on Thursday. I need to catch up with these reviews. I have them piling up. But I do want to kind of space them out so that there's plenty of filming, you know? But definitely, especially if you're on a budget, this is a deck that I recommend checking out. And I give it a five-star rating. Uh, as always, if you like what you see, please take a moment and click that subscribe button. I am trying to build this into a business that I can make money off of doing something that I love and helping people. I can't do that without you. To get monetized, I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I need your help to get there. I am doing a sale this week only until the 7th of March, 2020. $10 will get you a 15 to 20 minute reading, up to two questions answered. Payment information is in my description. Just note that it's for tarot. Message me with the name that the payment was made under. Your two questions, or one if that's all you want, and if you prefer public or private, I will get you your reading posted within the day. Um, Check the description box. Pretty much every question can be answered right there, including where to get your own free natal chart. And um, I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Plus bonus videos when I get a requested reading or, you know, something comes up that needs to be filming. Check back for more every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and in between. Love you guys. See you later.